Hey guys, it's Tracy here and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to do a random video because I really don't know what I'm filming today. But I just grabbed a couple of things, mostly beauty related, to share with you guys. Some things work for me, some things I love, and some things gave me weird smells. Let's get right to it. So I have a bag here with all the stuff that I love. And then I have this. And stuff that did work sometimes. Stuff that worked in other seasons. So, you guys will get to see this. First off, this is like my holy grail to my hair. If you guys seen my YouTube videos before, I would have purple and teal and a bunch of other color hair. And all of that damaged it. Really bad that I had to cut it. That's why it's so short now. <laughs> grow, baby, grow. It is a constant battle with this hair. So this is the holy grail of my hair routine and it is Pacifica's Hairbana. It's a leave-on detangling conditioner and I put this on right after I towel dry my hair. I towel dry, I'm like, those are the sounds that I make. A little dollop, you know, a little nickel, maybe quarter size. Let's say quarter size. Rub it. Put on my hair, start from the ends, and then I just start massaging around my hair. Not even a comb is needed because my hair just starts detangling and gets all soft and so pretty and I just love this. This is amazing. I love this thing. I love it. Next up, setting sprays. I have a love and hate relationship with setting sprays because for some reason I tend to forget to put it on every time but when I do remember when I do remember my face stays on all day now these are two setting sprays that came out new in these lines a couple months ago I have been trying them and you will see that they're still kind of full one is from Colourpop and the other one is from Project Beauty these are great products I'm gonna start with that. Now, now, the nozzles. To spray this on, I hate it. Every time I reach for these, they drench my face. It's like, I went outside, if you live in Miami, you know that it rains every three hours. So it's like a little drizzle on my face. That's how it feels. It's like, might as well just go outside and get the drizzle on my face from Miami weather. And now my cat's pulling on my pants. I love them. They do set my face. They last all day. I just hate the nozzle. Like, this spray is... Let's see if you guys see it. It's... See, my cat's all like, girl, you getting me all wet. Love you. But I hate the spray. And I just can't have that because then there's patchiness and blotchiness on my makeup. And I'm like, why did I even put on makeup? Colourpop. I love Colourpop. I'm wearing Colourpop right now. This is the Ultra Satin Lip in Mystic. It's from their fall line and I'm in love with it. But um, great product. Hate your spray. Every morning I have to spray like this. I'm like, ugh, ugh. I love them. I love them. I just don't like their sprays. Like, I don't like the pump. That's the right word that I was looking for. I don't like the pump. Love the product, I don't love the bottle or the pump because I get drenched in it. So please, Project Beauty and please, Colourpop, change your bottles and nozzles because I would love to use your product more if you guys change your bottle. Those of you who know, I love NYX products. I love their lip products, I love their highlighters, I love their blushes, I love their contour kits, everything. Now foundation, I have very oily skin. So I always look for stuff that is for my oily skin. And it's mattifying. So for a long time, I love NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat foundation. Until one day I get home, my boyfriend tells me, oh babe, you smell like vomit. I'm like, what? Yeah, your face smells like baby vomit. I'm like, this guy must be crazy. Because there's no way in hell my face smells like vomit. So I shrugged it off. So then I started using the Stay Matte Banana Flat Powder, and then I started using them both together, and I just did many ways, and 
he just kept telling me, your face smells like baby vomit. So then one day I did a test. I switched my foundation. He no longer said that my face smelled like baby vomit. So then one day, I tried it again. And guess what? I went to the bathroom that day because I saw a little shine on my forehead. And I'm like, ugh, this thing has never given me a shine. Let me go ahead and try it. So I grabbed the paper towel, blotted it here. For some reason, when I was pulling down the paper towel, on the paper towel, it smelled like baby vomit. So then I'm like, what in the hell? So I grabbed another paper towel and I blotted it all over my face and I smelled it because I'm gross like that. I smelled it and there, there it is. Lo and behold, my face smelled like baby vomit. And I'm here arguing with my boyfriend, telling him that you're crazy. So I got home and I go to him like, hey, you're right. My face did smell like baby vomit. So my only conclusion to this is that the chemicals mixed with my natural oils makes that smell. So I no longer use the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat foundation. My favorite, but I don't want to smell like a baby that just upchucked. And that's why I don't wear it anymore. But it is a great product. I will not take that away from this. So there you go. That's my NYX foundation story. Up next, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It's so great. Like, my friends have tried it and they're like, no, it's too dry and stuff like that. But I have oily skin. So this does work for me. Unfortunately, I live in Miami. When I bought this is when it first came out. It worked remarkably. It made my face look flawless, stay matte, no shine. Now, when summer came that's when I started seeing the difference because of the higher humidity level and it was just hot and sweaty this isn't water resistant I don't know if it is but it's not <laughs> it definitely is not and it does not withhold the Florida weather during the summer because this thing started breaking up going like it looked like I had some type of disease on my face because my friend told me, like, dude, are you sick? Because you have patches and spots on your face. Under my eye, it didn't even look like raccoon eye. It looked like lizard skin. That's how my eye looked under. And the thing is, I have, like, I use it with the concealer. The Photo Focus Concealer. And this thing's amazing. I love this. I could use this all year round, giving you that. But the foundation I cannot use during the summer because it will break apart and my face will look like a hot mess. And that is something I cannot have, guys. That's something I cannot have. Great product, not for your own. Next up, I tried the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. This is a moussey liquid foundation. I tried it once. Was not a fan. Not a fan at all. So... That's all I gotta say about this. Rimmel, do not like it. Now, talk about primers. I use the Lorac Eye Primer, behind the scenes, lip primer. And weird thing, I developed a allergic reaction to this on my eyes. You can't see it now, but this eye under it, I had to put so much moisturizer because it dried it up. And then it started peeling my skin. So imagine that how painful that is so this might work for people but it did not work for me because this thing dried the crap out of my eyelids that I started cracking so yeah it's not a product I will use again <sighs> last but certainly not the least this is a product that I was so excited to try and I'm upset that I can't use it the way I want to use it. This concealer. It is from my favorite brand, Colourpop. Their no filter concealer did not agree with my skin. It did well all over my face. It did not go well under my eye. At first it was a smooth, nice finish, but by hour three, 
you guessed it, crocodile skin. Crocodile lizard skin under my eye. And I was like, oh no, I can't do this. So I went to my coworker to make sure that I'm not, you know, making stuff up in my head. I went to her, I'm like, can you see under my eyes? How does it look? She's like, girl, it looks like you have snake eyes. That was my sister that called. Because, you know, she gotta interrupt my shit, you know? It's a good product. But I'm so heartbroken because I can't use it on my under eye. I can use it everywhere else, but not my under eye. And I'm like, what's the point? It's my dilemma. So yeah, guys, that's where this video is. Instead of random rambling, and that's what I came up with. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please comment and let me know. No power puff girls. Oh, power puff girls. Let me eat your hearts.